Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover internship opportunity from Indian Cyber Crime Coordination Center. Simply, we can call this as I4C. This I4C will work under Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India. Really, it is very good opportunity for the students, those who want to pursue internship from Gout of India organization like Indian Cyber Crime Coordination Center. So, let us uh, discuss the details in detail, how to apply and uh, what is the eligibility criteria. When we open the official web page, as we can see, the Indian Cyber Crime Coordination Center is working under Ministry of Home Affairs and it is also having seven verticals. I4C is working under different verticals called National Cyber Crime Reporting Portal to report the cyber crime complaints. Whenever we have cyber crime complaints, we need to report to National Cyber Crime Reporting Portal, which is cybercrime.gov.in. In the same manner, for Threat Analytical Unit, we have National Cyber Crime Threat Analytical Unit, which is responsible for. Here we have uh, law enforcement agencies, and whenever we want to share the threat intelligence reports, then we are going to have the National Cyber Crime Threat Analytical Unit (NCTAU), which is responsible for that. One more sister concern under I4C is National Cyber Forensic Laboratory, simply we can call NCFL, which will deals with uh, forensic tools and located in Dwaraka, New Delhi. And one more JCCT, that is Platform for Joint Cybercrime Coordination Team and also National Cybercrime Training Center and National Cybercrime Ecosystem Management Unit, National Cyber Research and Innovation Center, NCR and IC. Like this, I4C is working with these seven verticals. That is, in these seven areas, the I4C is working very hard to protect the data of the user inside the country. I4C is offering internships from 2021. Every year they are going to offer the internships for undergraduate students, postgraduate students, as well as the PhD students from recognized universities as well as institutions. The venue we are going to have in New Delhi. In New Delhi, we are going to get this internship. That is based on the degree, we are going to have various durations of this internship. And the internship we need to perform at New Delhi, that is I4C Center, NDCC building in New Delhi who are eligible to apply for this particular internship. Any candidate, those who are pursuing undergraduate degree, any undergraduate degree, that is BSc, BCom, BTech like this, any undergraduate degree and also postgraduate degree or PhD degree from any one of these areas. The candidates from information technology or computer science, computer science and engineering, any related fields of computer science, electrical and electronics and communication engineering, Cyber security, information security, cyber forensics, AI, ML, data analytics, LLB, LLM, criminology, sociology, or any other area related to cyberspace, technology, or cyber crime are eligible to apply for this particular internship. If, if your institute is ranked among the top institutions in India, then you are going to get more preference. And during this internship, you are going to get a opportunity to visit various cyber security centers which are working under government of India. We are going to get an opportunity to visit various national cyber forensic laboratories or National Crime Records Bureau NCRB. At the same time, 1930 call centers. Whenever we faced any cyber attack, we need to call the national toll free number that is 1930. We are going to visit 1930 call centers during this internship and also control rooms and many other institutions relevant to this corresponding internship. When we're visiting or whenever we're interacting with the experts from these organizations, definitely we are going to get more exposure in the field of cybercrime as well as cyber security. When it comes to intake, how many interns they are going to take? Usually every year they are going to offer the internship for two terms or in two batches, they are going to offer the internship per year. One is October to March and the second one is April to September. So now April to September batch is over. Now they are offering winter internship from October to March. So they are going to consider or they are going to recruit the students from various uh, graduation levels. 25 students from undergraduate, 15 from PG and 10 from PhD candidates. They are going to recruit as an intern for this particular internship. So the total 100 students they are going to recruit annually, that 50 per batch. When we come to the duration of the internship, the internship duration for UG and PG students is two months and for PhD students, it is up to four months. What is the selection procedure? We need to upload the form. Once you apply the online, there is a scrutiny committee, selection committee. That selection committee will shortlist the interns. 
while uploading we need to have the undertaking form to be submitted by the head of the institution that means we need to take the signature by head of the institutions or head of the department and submit the same form through online or the post so once the selection committee will examine the applications they will shortlist the candidates and the candidates those who got shortlisted will get communication and other candidates will not get any sort of communication from them only the candidates those who shortlisted for this internship will be communicated by i4c people so these are the minimum responsibilities from the intern side because it is related to cyber security from government of india organization we need to be take care and we should not reveal any secret information with uh, outside of i4c people they are also going to provide stipend and in the case of ug candidate they are going to provide 6000 per month and in the case of pg they are going to pay 10000 per month and in the case of phd they are going to pay 20000 per month for a period of 4 months after successful completion of the internship we need to submit a report and based on the report we submitted they will going to scrutiny or they will going to verify that particular report upon satisfaction of that particular report they are going to provide certificate for the candidates those who completed successfully and as this internship is in delhi they are not going to provide any kind of accommodation for us but they are going to provide the office space as well as internet and other kind of logistics they are going to provide but they are not going to provide any kind of accommodation for us we need to fill this form and also undertaking by the parent as well as guardian and also undertaking by the head of the institution or hod now when we open the official web page as we can see inviting applications for internship program who can apply the students pursuing ug pg phd course and then standard operating procedures whatever the instructions we discussed now that will be considered as a standard operating procedures and we are going to gain valuable experience in the field of cyber security as well as digital forensics and we are going to enhance our skills in the field of cyber crime investigation and we can also contribute to the various fields which are useful for the society and we can upgrade our resume these are the benefits we can gain after completion of the internship and the last date for submitting the application is 17 10 2025 by 5:30 pm we need to submit this particular application if you are interested simply you can scan this qr code or click on this google form when we click on this google form it will open this and these are the eligibility criteria you can go through again if you want the last date to submit the application is 17 2025 by 5:30 pm we need to submit then candidate name type father name gender mobile number email id course which course you are pursuing and what is the branch you are pursuing from that particular ug pg or phd selecting all these uh, fields then click on next when we click on next it will show uh, in which organization you are pursuing so select your organization from this list for example i am taking satyabama like this you can choose your uh, institution then click on next then college institution name type your college name then click on next then which stream you are pursuing for example i am writing computer science and engineering name of the university which university for example jntu i am writing current year in which year you are studying for example second year current semester third semester then last qualification marks last semester for example i am writing 80 to 90 100% desire to pursue internship at i4c and state utp there is a very good opportunity for the students if you want to pursue the internship from i4c select here you can do the internship in your state itself or any uts you can choose here if you want to pursue the internship from your state or from your union territory then choose here otherwise you can go for i4c if you select i4c we need to do the internship in delhi itself and if you select this the corresponding state office they are going to allocate for us so anyone based on your interest you can choose anyone then click on next then why do you want to do internship at i4c write some words why you are interested to do the internship in i4c for example if you, uh, just we can write uh, 
I want to learn more concepts and to learn the real time uh, applications of cyber security from I4C and I want to enhance my skills like that. Why you want to pursue the internship at I4C? Specify some words here. Then application form filled and attested. Whatever the application form we have here, this is application form. Print this application form and after filling, take the attestation from your head of the institution. Then once the attestation was done, then upload this application form then upload the college id then upload your cv the maximum size is 10 mb in all the cases we need to upload in pdf format then education certificate previous semester if you are in third year second year mark sheet first semester or second semester mark sheet we need to upload and also letter of recommendation from your head of the institution or head of the department then no objection certificate then self declaration we need to click on agree then submit so once we submit the application, the selection committee will pursue your application based on the eligibility. You may get the call once you shortlist it. That's all for now. If you have any query, simply comment on me so that I'll try to reply. Thank you. All the best.